Welcome to Fantastic Plastic, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Fantastic Plastic, I'll be presenting strategies and techniques for injection molded plastic part design using SolidWorks CAD software. I'm Andrew Lowe. I'm a senior industrial designer with the Demonic Group. The Demonic Group is a full-service product development consultancy located just outside Chicago, Illinois. The next kind of geometry we'll take a look at adding draft to is cylindrical or circular geometry. This is one half of a cylindrical housing, the two halves pressed together. And let's take a look at how I applied draft to these circular faces. So I'm going to roll back to the top of the tree. And the main geometry is created with a revolve feature, which makes a lot of sense for this round part. But when it comes to adding draft to circular parts and working with them, the revolve feature inherently has zero draft along the parting line here. If you zoom in, we see right through the right plane there is zero draft. So I actually need to add three degrees of draft. And, and you can see on this domed face, there's even more area that requires draft. So I'll click OK. And there's an easy way to do this using the split line tool. So there's a little known option, the split line tool, called silhouette. So if I were to pick the silhouette, um, through the right plane at zero, it would actually add a split line right through the right plane. Because if we were viewing this normal, we can see where that silhouette edge would be. However, when we add an angle, three degrees in this situation for the required texture, and then I'll pick these faces, what the silhouette split line tool does is actually apply a new edge to the model exactly at that three degree line. So I now have a new edge. I'm just going to get rid of this split line feature because I already created one. So here is that same split line feature with the silhouette option. Here I'm using the right plane with the surface cut tool to uh, cut the model in half because I don't want to have to do twice as much work. So whenever there's symmetry, I always try and leverage it. Now it's just a matter of using the parting line draft tool and picking those three new edges we created with the silhouette split line. One thing to note is that SolidWorks will often get the direction of the face that needs to be applied to. So right now with this yellow arrow pointing up, it's actually going to try and apply draft to this face. So I need to click the other face button and the arrow didn't disappear. It's just with draft analysis on the arrow and the yellow is the exact same shade. So the arrow would des temporarily disappear. If I had draft analysis on, you'd be able to see that arrow. So I'll click OK, and there we have it. We've applied the three degrees of draft very easily to our circular geometry. So once again, here's that silhouette split line tool. I use the split line with the silhouette option. I pick my pull direction, and I pick the faces. I also apply my three degrees of draft, and this gives me new faces and edges in the model that I can use the parting line draft tool to apply the draft to. Uh, note that the neutral plane would not work in this situation. I do need to use the parting line draft tool and use that other face button to reverse the direction of that yellow arrow to select the correct face if the first guess that SolidWorks makes is wrong. I hope you enjoyed this week's SolidWorks video tutorial presented by the Demonic Group. Please subscribe to the Demonic Group on YouTube by clicking our logo in the bottom right of the screen to stay up to date on new video releases. As well, click the SolidWorks icon to be taken to our website where you can download the example SolidWorks files used in this week's video. And finally, check out other great content by the Demonic Group, Will It Fill It and Surfaces and Splines by clicking the video links on the left of the screen.